Hey everybody, welcome. This is Patrick from Locals Tasting Room and it's Tasting Tuesday. Uh, I thought I'd take us out because it was such a nice day. Uh, I'm here in the back garden of Catelli's restaurant. If you're ever in Geyserville, you're going to visit me at Locals Tasting Room, pick up a bottle and take it over to Catelli's for a fantastic lunch. Uh, one of the great institutions of Geyserville. So hey, we're here uh, and we're tasting the Eric Ross 2017 Good La Vigna. Why are we doing the 2017? It's barrel tasting weekend. We're right in the middle of this barrel tasting time. So I thought I'd go through this really, really nice sample of the 2017, which is not going to be bottled for quite some time, but we'll see what a barrel tasting is like. So Good La Vigna, it's the taste of the vine. This is the foundation of what Eric meant when he was starting Eric Ross Winery. You got some beautiful things going on consistently out of that vineyard. We've talked about his fruit sources, but this is from his home vineyard in Carneros. Uh, a beautiful vineyard, Silver Image Vineyard. Uh, you can see Silver Image done specifically in the label, the beautiful artwork of this night harvest. Um, but the uh, Silver Image brand within Eric Ross, consistently delicious wines. So what are we doing here? We've got a beautiful blend. You've had Gouda La Vigna in the past perhaps. The Gouda La Vigna uh, consistently was a Rhone style blend. We're still in a Rhone style blend, but we're mixing up a little bit now. Right? Instead of that Syrah dominant blend that we were tasting before that was kind of a northern Rhone, we've gone to the deep south. This is a lot more like a Gigondas. So what we've got here, Eric has told me, is 90% Grenache, 10% Syrah, and it's a beautiful wine. So let's have a go. Uh, loving the color. It's a beautiful, beautiful, fresh purple. This is what you're hoping to get from a Rhone wine, especially when it's a tender, sweet, young thing. So this is what we got here. The nose, gosh, beautiful berries and spice, really complex. You're getting a lot of fruit in here. A lot of blueberry, raspberry, mm, just a little bit of fresh, almost like a Bing cherry, more than a black cherry, a Bing. But I'm getting some really nice soft spice undertones, a little sandalwood. Um, Eric is not afraid of incorporating the complexity of barrels in his wine. You've seen that before. We've got it going. So now what are we going for? Mm. Outstanding fruit. This is just a big wrap up again of some of those earlier fruits we got, but it's more than the fruit. You've got big fruit. It's not like a cooked um, jammy fruit. I mean, you've definitely got that jam sense, but it's not the heavy cooked fruit com uh, confiture that you'd say maybe. You've got a lot of fresh berries still going on there. That acid is dancing on the top of the tongue, but it has this interplay with that darkness in the back in the middle. You've got, again, that blueberry, that raspberry, um, but there's spice, there's yeast. You can still taste some of that fresh yeast, and that might fade a little bit with time in the bottle, but for me right now, it's you're getting a component that's almost making it seem like a finished fresh fruit cobbler or a, what is that beautiful French word, the clafouti. Uh, really just fresh baked pastry and bright, wonderful fruit. It hits all the different points in your tongue. So there's even a savory component to this. So you've got sweet, salt, uh, bitter, sour. It's all in there at different levels. The acid's delightful. It's going forward and finishing. I'm getting some beautiful um, caramely, chocolatey tones that aren't the rich darkness. It's fresh and bright in the front. So it's really an enjoyable. This is going to be a dynamite wine once this is released a year from now. Um, you're going to love this. It's a 2017 Gouda La Vigna from Eric Ross. Come see us here again at Locals Tasting Room in Geyserville. Cheers.